What's up people, I hope you're doing well. I'm Jack. In this video, we're gonna see how to combine two boring images like these into one irresistible, mind-blowing, inception-level stuff in just a few minutes. Is it that easy? Let's see. As a photographer or a photo enthusiast, we might be taking a lot of pictures wherever we go. Some of the shots are straightforward, has a subject and tells a story. It just needs a bit of a color correction here and there and are ready to be shared on different platforms. Sometimes the picture needs a lot of attention, alteration and tweaks in order to bring some meaning out of it. I personally change stuff in my picture to make it look perfect. Is it cheating? Not necessarily. It's you as a photographer are presenting your work in the best state possible. Now let's use the perfect tool Photoshop for this instance to combine these two not so storytelling images to one trippy shot. Let's jump to the editing session. In order to create this edit, you need an image taken from a lower perspective like this having the puddle in the foreground and another image like this one taken from a higher viewpoint. The reason why I chose these two images because by combining I thought I can show a part of the image without any traffic, just the people walking and another part of the image having heavy traffic. This adds contrast and thought I can tell a better story by combining these two images. So now we have both the shots in Photoshop. The first step I would do is select the image on the foreground that will be revealed in the puddle area and reduce its opacity to a 50 percentage. This will allow me to see what are the areas that will be revealed in the puddle section and allow me to resize the image or erase or add the details that I want to be shown in the final result. And the next step is to resize the image to the size I wanted. A rule of thumb in this editing process is to have the size of the people kind of relatable to the size of the people on the other part of the picture to create harmony. So once I resize the image, click OK. And next step is to apply mask. To apply mask, click on this icon on the bottom right corner. This will apply mask and select the brush icon or the shortcut B and go to this area, select your size and set the hardness to zero because when you are erasing off the details that you don't need, it shouldn't look shabby. And I will increase the brush even more and just start erasing off the details that you don't want to be seen in your final result. You can go rough in the beginning and you can always bring back the details uh, if you have erased it by mistake. That's good. and. Now I will bring back the opacity to a hundred percentage. That's really sharp. And as you see here, I revealed the second image only in the puddle area. In order to make it even better, I will reduce the size of the brush, zoom in the image by pressing the control and plus key to the size I wanted and do the final touch to make it look perfect. I'm following exactly the, the curves of the puddle on the floor and you can always bring back the details if you have erased by mistake. I will show you in a second. That's good. Now we have erased the details but there is mistake on this area and a few other parts as well. So to bring the details back I go right here and switch the color palette to white and start painting again. This will bring the details back which I have erased by mistake. You can always go back and forth in erasing or bringing back the details until you are satisfied. So now I have completed bringing all the details in my puddle area. That's good. Now I have combined both the images here, but immediately I noticed that the puddle area is having a tone different to the color of the floor right here. In order to fix this, I will apply the color balance 
and then I will right click the color balance and select create clipping mask. By doing this, whatever change I'm doing on the color area will only affect the puddle section and not the overall image. So move this one. We are almost getting there. And a highlight. So right now I have brought the color on the bottom area almost matching to the color of the floor. I'm really happy with this result and now I will be taking this image to Lightroom to do the final color edit. So let's open it in Lightroom. So I brought the image in Lightroom and I played a bit with the colors to my personal taste and this is the final result that I have achieved. If you would like to see my Lightroom editing process, I have another video uh, which I will link it in the end of this video or even in the description below to show you my step-by-step -step editing process. Um, so I just played with the colors a bit and also matched the tones. Now you will notice that the tones on the puddle area is matching exactly same with the floor area. So it doesn't look like two different pictures. So that's the end of this editing process. Let's see the images that we started working with and how we uh, reached to this result. So let's see the images that we started working with and how we ended up here. Uh, so this was the picture number one and this was picture number two. And this was the result we achieved after combining them in Photoshop. And this is our final result after editing in Lightroom. And that's how you create an interesting puddle shot using Photoshop. You can see the final result on my Instagram. If you'd like to know how people reacted to the result, I use the same username Susan's Jack on my Instagram account. And if you are trying this technique and posting in Instagram, tag Susan's Jack on your picture. I will definitely check your result. And if you have done a good job, I will share it in my Instagram stories. I hope you learned how easy it is to create this awesome shot. Hit that like button, subscribe button and bell button. It's easy in this order and comment below to let me know if you'd like to see more of such tutorials because I truly enjoyed making this one and sharing with you all. So that's the end of the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.